Hey everyone, Sharon here with Creating with Sharon, and I am going to show you how I made this super cute card um, last night on my Facebook Live. Easy to do, fun, fun and easy. So I'm going to um, show you the pieces. So I have a piece of cardstock that is three and five eighths by nine and three quarters. Then I scored at four and seven eighths to fold it in half, just like that. Okay, and then I have a piece of basic white, and this piece is going to fit right over top of that, and that's three and a half by four and three quarters. I have a piece of basic white card socks that's three and a half by seven, and I'm going to score this at four and three quarters, and that's going to be on the inside of the card, and we're actually going to make it into a this card into a gift card holder, and then I. I don't know what I was thinking. I end up gluing these together. So you want to put uh, your um, card base, which is four and a quarter by five and a half. And then you want a piece of um, designer series paper that's three by four inches. And then you just want to glue that right onto the base like that. And then you also have 14 inches of ribbon of your choice. You can choose whatever your little heart desires on that one. So I'm going to bring in my scoring tool and I'm just going to score this at four and three quarters. So I'm going to take this, put this at four and three quarters, and with my gray, and I'm just going to just run it back and forth just to score the line, just like that. And I'm just going to bring it up, and that's where that's our actual gift card holder. So in order to hold it in place, all I'm going to do is grab my tear and tape and just bring it like that, and then do the same thing on the other side. Adhere it to the base. And what I love about the tear and tape is exactly what it is. It's tear and tape. You just basically tear it and away you go. And then you just want to lift it up. I'm just going to just grab my pick a tool and pick that up. Okay, so now yesterday when I did it on my live, what had happened is I didn't put my sentiment up, sentiment up high enough because the gift card is going to fit in. So when I did this one, I put it right here. The gift card actually covers the greetings. And I'll just show you on this one. This is the one that we did at our team meeting. And the same thing like that. It's just a wee bit high. So just be careful when you're, when you're actually doing that. So I'm just going to just ink up my sentiment that says seasons, seasons greetings. And I'm going to ink it up using my um, pool party. And I'm just looking for, I'm just going to grab, here's my silicone mat. I'm just going to stamp on that just so, because it, it just gives a little bit of, I'll give when you go to stamp. And I'm just going to just stamp it right at the top, just like that. Okay. So now this piece is basically finished. So if you like, we'll just adhere it into the inside just like that and I'm going to use my liquid glue so you can see the little stain on that that's from my ink from my stamps but you know what you're not going to see it so we're good on that one so there just slide that right in and that's the inside of that now this piece here gets adhered right on to here and let's do that now and then we can just finish up the card later add the top piece to it and this goes right in the center just like that and then we'll just put this to the side just to um, dry and everything out of the way so now on this piece here, I'm just going to insert a plane. So you can do many different things. On this one here, all I did was take the um, the stamp from the Penguin Palace, or sorry, Penguin Place, and just stamped it all on the, I guess, the, la the bottom third of the, two-thirds of the um, this piece of uh, cardstock. Just, it just gives it a little something so it's not flat on the background. Um, you, like I said, you can emboss it if you wish. It's entirely up to you. And I'm just going to just randomly, just going to grab a piece of 
scrap paper I have here. Put this onto here. So when I stamp off, it's going to just stamp onto the scrap piece of paper and not spoil any of my future projects. Yeah, so this is a nice, cute uh, wintry. Um, I for keep forgetting about the little penguin palace or penguin palace, pen penguin place um, bundle because it it was in the catalog last year, so mini last year, and they carried it forward. So that was kind of nice. So darn cute. Okay, so there's that. And now I'm going to put my sentiment. This is um, to the coolest friend ever. And I'm also going to ink that up in Pole Party. And I'm also going to bring in my silicone mat. So it just has that wee bit of give when I go to stamp it. And just... Now, you don't want this at the very top, because if you notice on here, is that we have our ribbon running across. So I'm just going to take it down just a tad. Put it about right there. And we're using photo photopolymer stamps. Make sure you have something underneath so it gives it a little bit of give. So you're not pressing on, on something hard. Because when you press on something hard, the stamp will actually squish and the image would go out and it'll look kind of silly. Silly Billy. Okay, so now we're going to take this out of the way. I'm going to take this out of the way. I'm going to bring this back in. And now I'm just going to adhere it right onto there. So it's a very simple card to do. Um, we do this my mystery card. Um, I started doing this with my, my team. Um, we did it one time and everybody just loved it. So I asked them if they wanted to do it again and they just love it. So all I do is just give them the dimensions, cut out the pieces, they do that and then um, we get together and then we just chit chat and while we're chit chatting, we make up our cards. Okay, so now I'm gonna cut out two of the cute little penguins. So this is the penguin builder. This does come with, it does match up with this. And I'm going to make sure because yesterday when I did it, I had make sure that you have your penguin going the right way on the right side. So I'm going to do it this way and I'm going to put my penguin on the left hand, start on the, the right hand side moving left on this one. I'll just push that up a bit for you. So I'm going to ink up a cute little penguin. I'm going to do two, one, and two, and put this guy away because I don't want it all over the place. Now I'm going to bring in my pumpkin pie and this little guy right here, and this is the actual um, beak of the penguin. So what I'm going to do this. Let's ink this up. And see this line right here? I'm going to line it up to where the nose is. And look at that. Perfect every time, eh? There we go. Put the lid back on that one. This guy's out of the way. So now I'm going to bring in my punch. And I'm going to punch out the two penguins. So this looks like a little too high. I'm going to just grab my scissors and just trim it down a bit. And just slide it in again. Oops. And then punch one. I'm going to trim this off because we're going to run into punching out on this and there'll be pieces everywhere. And do the same thing. Oops. Come on. So basically line it up. I like to just line it up and put a wee bit of pressure on the punch. And then when I think I got it perfect, I'll push it all the way through. There we have that. And now he needs little feet, right? So on this punch, they, we do have the little feet and I do have some pumpkin pie scrap paper. 
So we'll cut out a couple of the feet. There's one. And two. I mean, you can need four, right? We've got two of the little, the little puppies. Oh, they're so cute, eh? Two. And three. There we go. So we now we have four. Put that paper away. And now all I'm going to do is just grab my tweezers and just add a wee bit of glue to the back side. Don't want too much, and then I'm just going to just adhere it just like that. And we'll do it again on this one. And adhere it. That and then do the same thing on the other one. Make sure you don't want to go up too high with the glue because you don't want it to stick to the your paper. Because I have one of the if you notice on this here, I have one of the the penguins dimensioned, and the other one is flat. And oops, let me just move this over a bit. That's why I like my liquid glue. I can just maneuver. So there we go. Okay, so now let's bring in the card base and some dimensionals. Like a super easy card to do. Um, you can do however you wish. Like I did this one with the penguins. I did one from, with my club girls using the, the Scotty. He's so cute too. I'm just gonna just cut. So if you have dimensionals, make sure you use all of them all the way around, not just the center pieces. They work wonderful. And so I'm just gonna put this one here. Just like that. And then this one here, I'm gonna just glue him or her, I don't know which is which, straight down, like that. And then I'm just gonna bring in my ribbon, which is 14 inches, bring it in, and then I'm just gonna just tie a bow. Now I find, I found this card very simple and easy to do. Um, just the measurements but all the measurements are listed in the description so please feel free to do yeah when we did it at our team meeting like I did Christmas and everybody else did birthdays because they have birthdays coming up so you can just about do anything you wish you can instead of using um like I used just the white and I just decorated it up. On the front, you can actually use designer series paper and then put a sentiment on it. There's just so many different ways that you can work that. I'm just maneuvering, manipulating the ribbon here just to keep it in place. I'm just gonna just grab some glue dots from my paper pumpkin. Just give you so much with the paper pumpkin and then and there's that and then I'm just going to take these guys and just trim it back and there we have the penguin place and move all this out of the way penguin place penguin and that's what I did with the sheer and then I did it with the that's cute too. It looks like snow. And then here's this one here with the um, the Scotty. And basically, I just punch the Scotty out. No stamping. All of, this is this is stamped and that's stamped and as is that. But all the rest of it's just designer series paper. And then with this one here too, I thought I did a, uh, envelope. I did do an envelope. And all I did is I took my DSP, just glued it, adhered it to the the flap of the um, card. And now, the, how cute is that, eh? Can you imagine getting that in the mail? So cute. Oh, I forgot something. I just gotta bring in. Okay, 
So these are the Fiesta, okay, that says red and green adhesive um, back pearls. That's not what they are. They're actually called Festive um, Pearls. And unfortunately right now, they are on back order. Um, so if you, um, they'll be back in stock on the 5th, the 12th of September. And they were, I totally didn't notice them in the catalog. Um, but one of the girl, one of my team, team members, uh, she had won a package of, um, rhinestones because she was top seller for the month. So she ordered them and they came to the house and I just said, oh my gosh, I have to order. So I ordered a whole whack of them because I'm going to use them for, for gifts for teammates and for customers. So, okay. So there you have it. This, I, I'm calling this the mystery, oops, the mystery fold. Mystery full card. And it's a little gift card holder because it does fit. Um, what did we use for last night? What did we use for the gift card? Um, let's see. Just pretend this gift card, see, so will fit perfectly in there. Yay. Okay, so if you have any questions, let me know by all means. If you don't have a demonstrator and you live in Canada, I would love to be your demonstrator. Just tap on any of the products and it'll take you right to my store and you can go ahead and order. Okay, I want to thanks for joining me again today. I greatly appreciate it and um, take care and we'll see you next week. See ya. Bye.